And hello all the people. How's it going? Another rambling another rambling rose, another rambling video. But this one's got context. Because today is unless you live under a rock and you got well, there's no air or noise or anything that gets under that rock. You would know, if you were anybody who's not under a rock, is what I mean, that today is September 11th. And as it is September 11th, um, it's a very, uh, well, solemn day. You know, that's what, uh, that's what, uh, the Americans would call it a somber and reflective day. Um, one to look back on with heavy hearts. And I guess that makes sense. Because you feel crappy that your country was pretty much attacked. No one likes to be attacked. Whether it be by a bully, or, you know, by activist groups. Or get a, uh, attacked online via getting hacked or DDoS attack or any attack really is, is pretty crappy. But getting a plane flown into a tower in one of your major cities, uh, if not one of the m most major cities in the world, well yes, that's, that's pretty shitty. But um, does that mean that you have to broadcast it over and over to death, no pun intended, every September 11th? I don't think so. Um, now you're thinking, oh, what a cunt. He's, he's saying all this shit, and he does, he's being rude and stuff. No, it's not rude. There's just a statute of felitations, if I can, if I can make up a word. Um, and, uh, I think that's run its course, you know, um, now of course I'm not saying the people who had lost loved ones or family members, which would be loved ones, or people they, you know, were in their lives and stuff, sure, they'll never forget it and stuff, those are the people that never forget was meant to be reserved for, you know, that's what I feel, but if you were just some you know, uh, office worker in frickin' bum hick town, Texas or something, and you go around spout, never forget. It's like, what do you have to remember anyway? You weren't there. Sure, sure, patriotism and, and you know, togetherness as a country. And yeah, that's a great, that's a great feeling and a, and a great idea. But really, all your family members are alive. And, and more to the point, uh, oh, sorry if your family members died within the last few uh, days or whatever, that, that's really shitty. Then, you know, always remember them. But um, it's always bothered me because living in Canada, now I know you're saying, oh, he's Canadian, he doesn't fucking get it, oh, you fucking Canuck, but it's not like that. What it is, is, um, those people who lost people on September 11th, okay, they were watching the, the subsequent, uh, newsreels on news following the attacks, you know, September 12th, 13th, 14th, and on and on and on. And if there was a high score for the amount of times those people personally saw those towers get hit, and, and those towers go down and the thoughts of their loved ones being in there and how devastating that was. If there was a high score for that, they'd be untouchable. You see where I'm going with this? So what do you do for them when you show clips of that every single September and you're like, oh, look what happened. Do you forget it? Huh? Do you remember what happened? This is what happened. Look at how these towers got attacked look at this plane flying into it do you remember do you remember here remember remember let's shove it in your face some more 
And it's probably a living hell for those people to see that over and over again and refresh in their minds that their loved ones and family members and husbands and wives are in those towers and they get to watch it crumble with their loved ones inside year after year after year. You're not doing anyone any favors. Actually, Never Forget is a self-sustaining um, idea because... If you keep showing it every single September, it's not going to bolster their their uh, feelings of happiness. It's going to make them never be able to forget. You're not doing anyone any favors. I'm very um I'm very on fire about this because living in Canada, we get a lot of American TV. And you can't turn on uh, you can't turn on a, an American television station that you get in Canada on September 11th and not see those towers go down or see something about terrorism or see something about Al-Qaeda, which hasn't been talked about that much in the news since probably 2002 or three, you know, or, or vaguely mentioned from time to time. But, you know... Um, it's it's like you got to let it not 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 to quote an old frozen meme but you know in a sad kind of way let it die like remember in your own way but don't go out of your way to put it all over and plaster it all over the the chan uh, news channels and say hey did you forget this happened well let's remind you here here's what it looked like you know don't show ground zero don't do all that stuff that invokes memories of that shitty time for them and you know just be like hey it's September 11th something crappy happened but let's move on with our day you know um, I mean reverence is good but not when it not when it invokes the the feelings of, of shittiness and loss all over again and then that's all they can think about for the rest of the day and probably the rest of the next couple of months because they're like, oh, I just saw that on the news again. It's like it's happening all over again. I don't know. Just how I feel. But anyway, uh, in part two, I'm going to go over more about why I think September 11th should be, you know, kept to a personal thing like I just said a little bit here. But anyway, um, yeah, those are just my general thoughts on it. But in the next part, I'm going to go deeper into the whole thing about, you know, um, ways that people can remember for themselves and, you know, be healthier about it. Because really all you're doing, and I don't know if that's your plan, but showing that newsreel shit every single September, you're just giving a lot of people, you're reinforcing their PTSD about it. And imagine what it does to the people that have been there, that were in the towers and escaped. Well, they're fucked anyway. Anyway, I'm going to do a part two. Um, if you didn't like this, then don't watch the part two. But if you want to, for some reason, to hear what I have to say about it some more, then watch the part two. Okay. See you in part two. Bye.